All right, I'm leaving the top of the Cadbury Hill Fort. This is all exploring. I've never been here before. There's no signposts or anything. I'm just doing my own thing, really, exploring. It's a beautiful day. The wild garlic is out there and further over surrounding that huge, huge oak tree. That would have been here. That has got to be old, that one. That's very mystical looking, that one. There's some beautiful pink flowers over there as well. I've got to find out what they are. Well, I thought I'd just video this bit here because it is so pretty. You've got a classic oak with a big hole in it in the bottom of the chunk there. It's all, you can see, I don't know, it should be protected. I would have thought it should be protected. Look at it above me, that. Hello, oak. It's in a lovely area, look. A lovely wild garlic that's out now. It'll be right up um, Longwood. I should imagine it's a good time to go now. So up there's the fort. And here we have this really old oak tree. Very, very old. And look, my God, how is it surviving? It must be struggling. Look at that hole in it. Looks a bit dead on this side, doesn't it? Oh dear. She was, hasn't been surrounded and protected. So this is Sheila, Cadbury Hill. I've got no idea where any paths go, by the way. There's a way out there. I'm just, what I'm doing is just looking around. It might be more likely that I go out that way if I want to get up that side. That's the theory. But there's obviously a way if you want to go down that way. That might go to Yatton, you see. There's not a really a lot up here. It is if you're an archaeologist and knows what you're looking for. I mean, there are uh, actually... Oh, that's naughty, isn't it? Somebody's put some signs actually on the tree. Let's hope they haven't nailed them in. Yeah, they've put little tacks in there. Look, that's damaging. I shouldn't do that. Right, so there's a way out down there. Because I've got no idea. I could get down onto a main road and find that there's no... There isn't no way up the other side. So I haven't got a map, you see. But it is very pretty just here. Obviously, they haven't let the cows out yet. This would be a completely different place for me. I probably would be a bit more wary. Yeah, there's a footpath going that way as well. Uh, yeah, the cows would normally be all around here. Although there's a footpath going over, yeah, small style, which looks like it goes... Yeah, people obviously use this. That takes you down somewhere, and then you've got somewhere over there. This is the problem when you're exploring an area for the first time. Yeah, because I mean, I could go to Yatton if I knew there was a walk all the way there, see? I mean, Yatton isn't very far if I knew the way. What I'm doing, I'm just wrecking this bit to see where all the different, um, this is definitely an oaky wood, isn't it? Where all the different routes take me. See, look, there's a gate here, but there's no, um, directions, you see. No real directions. Well, without a map. Yes, yeah, I don't want to start going down not knowing where I'm going, see? So I ain't got a clue where that goes. 
where it comes out or anything. This is what I call recce day today. Yeah, I'm avoiding going down if I can. See, it could be that this leads to Yatton, but how do I know if it does? I don't want to go wandering off into some wood I don't know. This is obviously one of the ways. Right over and out for a minute. 